Hey folks, I thought I'd uh, show you real quick how to install a printer on Linux if you have a printer at home. Probably the single most important point about installing is, is your printer Linux compatible? Which is probably a good question to ask if you don't have one and you're planning to buy one. Many printers are. So that's really a cool feature. But in order to find out for sure, you should just go to Google and type up the model. For example, I'm using uh, an HP 8620. So I just type HP, um, HP Office Jet 8620. And, you know, here it shows that, of course. But then I will usually type Linux. And as you can tell, it you already kind of sees that, you know. And the point is, of course, every uh, every printer is a little different. But the point is, you should go to a couple of web pages and read up and see if there is um, support for it. I would normally not this this. By the way, I'm just going by really fast. This actually shows that it is compatible with most versions, with almost every version of Linux. Okay, um, this is supposedly a driver that you can go ahead and install. The cool thing is that many of your printers don't even need you to do that. All you need to know is that if it is compatible, you can probably already add it manually to your system without doing this. You're only doing this just so that you can get an idea if it is. Or if you're planning on buying a printer, you probably want to make sure that it's Linux compatible. This is which is, which is also one of the reasons why I kind of do prefer HP. They're usually pretty good about um, compatibility with everything. So. I said usually, of course, there might be exceptions, some of you may have had bad experiences, but anyway. So, how do you start? Well, we start by going to, we type, we, we go into the um, print, okay, and once you're there, hit enter. Here's your print settings. Now, I've already added this printer, but this is from another location. So, uh, this is when I connect to one location, so I have to go to this new location, and here, of course, First, we unlocked it. Now that we've unlocked, we click on Add. And when you're in Select Device, under most cases, you go under Network Printer. And as you can tell, it already kind of found it. So we click on. Now, for some reason, this whole um, thing is a little slow in uh, recognizing. So it takes a few seconds. And notice I clicked it, and it didn't respond for a few seconds. But that's doesn't seem to really be a problem. Anyway, you notice that this was highlighted. You probably, as I said, if you have a different printer, you're probably going to have slightly different, um, you know, things here. But one, this will probably give the name of your printer, and this will probably give some of the options that you can use. Usually, it's best to just leave it at the default. In other words, whatever was already automatically selected. We click forward. And notice what it just said. It looks like it was an error. Oh, well, fail to search for printer driver. Could not find it. Okay, well, anyway. We click on, um, yeah, this printer has a duplexer, so we click that. Click forward. Okay. And the, the, the these things aren't as important to us, but... Okay. And these are just um, identifiers that you can use to, to, to... The reason it didn't let me is because I already had the other one installed, so I had to give this a different name. I'm just doing that. Now it's a different name. Now it lets me. Okay, see the apply is available now. Okay, click on apply. And it's going to ask you, would you like to print a test page? Well, obviously. And as you can tell, you can hear my printer in the background there spitting out the paper. And if everything is good, you should see a page that says printer test page, Debian online says Unix printing system, and it uh, you know gives a couple of identifiers about your printer. And there you go. Most of the time, that's all you need to do. But keep in mind that your compatibility depends entirely on how well your manufacturer supports Linux. If they do, then usually this is really easy and a snap to do. If the manufacturer does not, then you're usually going to have a very hard time 
and it's just no fun because you may have to do things such as like I said go to web pages download software like you see here in the page or you may even need to do other things where you have to go really really extensive and install cups drivers and other things that's no fun and once you're done of course this was the original reason I did this which was I just wanted to print up this file and once uh, here you just hit control P as you can see the printer here and we can just go ahead and check the options as you can see all the options are there and once we're ready we just hit print well, we can hit preview too by the way you know let us see what it's gonna look like anyway let's go back to print hit print and we're good to go okay folks if you got any other questions let me know. Okay. Thanks a lot. Take care.